guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a full face of makeup using only sample products that I have. And I mainly want to do this because I feel like there's a lot of samples that, one, I know I like and I just forget to reach for, and other ones that I haven't used at all or just haven't thought to use because more often than not, I reach for the full size things. I reach for palettes, full size foundations, and things like that. So I feel like this would be a good way for me to try some stuff out that I either haven't yet or haven't used in a long time. And at the very least, if this doesn't turn out good, then hopefully it'll at least be entertaining. This first product is definitely nothing new. You guys have seen me use this time and time again. This is the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eye Primer. This is just the only eye primer I have right now, let alone the only mini, so I figured I kind of had to use that. <laughs> this product is almost gone though, but I feel like it's lasted me a pretty long time. I got this in a Smashbox Try It Kit, I think it was called, quite a while ago. It's been at least a year now. And it's lasted me pretty well. I mean, I've, it's pretty much the only one I've used for a while now. I had the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but that it wasn't empty, but it was kind of old and I felt like I had to get rid of it. But this one is also nearing the end. I kind of had a hard time getting this little bit out. For eyeshadow, I have these three little mini Ulta quads. I had gotten these with one of those promotions that Ulta does somewhat frequently where you buy like $20 I think worth of Ulta brand products and you get a makeup bag full of some of their products for free. These were from there and I I don't know if I've ever actually used them. I know I've definitely swatched them because some of these are very clearly touched but I don't think I've ever actually used them. I'm going to start off with this one. This is the Smoky Eyeshadow Quad and I'm going to use this top corner one called Naked. Next I'm going to go into the natural quad and use the color sunrise as my transition shape. I feel like this looks a bit darker in the quad than it actually does on my eye. But there's really not a lot of options for transition or crease shades in this so I'm going to just kind of have to make do with this one. So I guess I'm just going to move on to color since, like I said, there's really no other options for crease shades, so I guess that's as dark as that's going to get. I'm going to go into the Romantic Quad next. I'm going to use this dark plum shade called Eggplant. So I feel like that goes on relatively pigmented, but it kind of blends into nothing, so definitely have to build it up. <laughs> it's a really pretty color too, it's a shame. This whole quad is actually very pretty, I really like the color selection there. Alright, I'm going to abandon those for now because it's not really as pigmented as I would like it to be. So I'm going to move on to this Coastal Scents sample. This is two colors from the Revealed Smoky palette. There is, I don't believe that they have names in those, and there's no names on here. But uh, this one's like a pink toned brown. It definitely has like brown undertones to it. And then this one is more like a true, not even chocolate brown, it's pretty cool tones, but more like an espresso kind of brown. So I'm going to take this pink one on my pinky and put that on my lid. I have used this before, this pink shade. I don't think I've used the brown one before, but I've definitely swatched it. And I really like this one. I think it's very pretty. It's not as pigmented as it could be, but it's at least better than the Ulta Quads. <laughs> but it's not like a chunky glitter or anything. It is really just a nice kind of sparkly sheen. And I did get this one from Birchbox not too long ago. I'm going to try to add a little bit more eggplant into the outer V just to kind of bring a little bit more of that purple back in. I mean, the more I build it up, the better it will be, but... I don't want to, you know, sit here all day building up a purple. I also want to know if you guys prefer videos like this, like, this isn't really a tutorial, it's just me doing whatever, but do you prefer videos where I'm putting on makeup and I do voiceovers, or do you prefer videos like this where I'm actually talking while I'm doing it, or do you want like a mix of both? I don't really know, I don't really have a preference for which way I do it, but I would like to know which way you prefer to watch it. I think that looks a little bit better. I think it brought 
enough purple back into it. It's just, you know, not as purple as I'd really like it to be. But it is still pretty, and I think that Coastal Sense shade definitely amped it up a bit. Next, I'm going to go in with eyeliner. This is from Ico. This is their Skinny Liquid Liner in Black. This is another one that I got from Birchbox kind of a while ago. It's one of my first boxes, and I have used it, but honestly, I don't love it. The tip of it, it's a felt tip, which I do like, but it's very, very stiff, and it's very hard to just get a good line in, and I feel like I stab my eyes very often, so it just very hard to use and it's definitely not something I would just buy the full size of. So bear with me on this too. I find this one very hard to use but I think it's the only sample liquid eyeliner that I have so didn't really have a choice. Honestly, I feel like this looks so uneven, but it's so hard to do this with this liner. That's as good as that's gonna get. So I just curled my lashes, and now I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I just started using this maybe about a week ago, and I really like it so far. And I don't really remember where I got this sample from. I actually have two of them. I don't know where I got either one of them from. One might have been Birchbox, but I really don't remember. But I really like how this applies, and it definitely doesn't look clumpy at all, which I said in my last video, I really do like my lashes to look as natural as possible, which is exactly why you've never seen me wear false lashes. That, and I just, I hate the feeling of them. I also hate feeling like it, they're just going to come off at any second, regardless of how good the glue is. Ugh, I don't feel like I could go out with them. I could maybe like do a video with them on, but there's no point to it if I don't like wear them regularly anyway. This next product I actually got for free from Poshly. I've talked about them before. They do like kind of like giveaways for free products. Some things are full size, some things are sample size. It's not like PR where you're getting it to be sponsored or you have to do a review on it. You can. They give you like links to review it on the brand site and on their site and stuff like that, but nothing's like required. And I got a sample of the Color Science All Calm Clinical Redness Corrector. This has SPF 50 in it, and I've used this quite a bit at this point, and I really like it a lot. I think it's a very unique product. When I first saw it, I expected it to be green since it is a redness corrector, and obviously those are typically green. But it's almost like, it's almost foundation-like, and it's almost as if I picked the wrong foundation shade. But then it's like, I just rub it in my fingers a little bit and then start spreading it on my skin. And once you blend it in, it really just kind of meshes in with your skin tone and it doesn't look like you have the wrong foundation shade on. And it's nothing like groundbreaking. It doesn't cover all the redness or anything, but I feel like it does help to mute it a bit. And today I am going to be using a BB cream and I feel like since those are typically pretty low coverage, this is definitely a good first step for that to help build up a little bit more coverage. So honestly, I don't know if you can really even see a difference. I feel like my face looks very white right now from the lighting. But in person, it's not like a drastic difference, like I said. But it does help to just tone down the redness at least a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of primer. This is the Benefit Professional. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this right on my T-zone. I know a lot of people have really raved about this primer. Not so much recently, but it was really definitely like a cult favorite over the past few years. And I just... I don't know, I never wanted to get it because I didn't think it was really going to be anything groundbreaking. And with, even with the sample, I don't think it's anything special. I don't really know what the craze around it was. I mean, it's definitely good and I feel like it does what it should. I guess it kind of fills in my pores and it does make my makeup last a little bit longer. But I just, I don't know. I don't know what all the hype was about. I think I actually got this sample in an Ulta catalog and I thought that was insane and ever since then I've been hoping that I'll get another thing like this but it's always just been perfume samples but I never expected to get like a real makeup sample in an old magazine. The next product I'm going to be using is from Marcel. This is their City Tinted Cream, pretty much a BB cream. This has SPF 25 in it and is in the color Fair. I'm pretty much just going to apply this like a foundation except I'm going to use a brush instead of a beauty blender. More often than not I've been using a beauty blender for foundation lately but I feel like since it's like a BB cream it might just soak it up a little bit too much so the brush might be the better way to go. I probably really could just use this with my fingers too but I don't know I don't want to use a brush. 
like I said, it's very light coverage, but I feel like this is something I'm going to start reaching for a little bit more often. Once the weather gets warmer, and I mean it's April 6th and it's snowing outside, welcome to Pennsylvania. I think out of all of the BB creams that I have gotten in Birchbox, this one matches me the best. The other two that I have, one is also from Marcel. The other one is either Dr. Jar or Dr. Brand. I think it's Dr. Brand. Either way, it's one of those like doctor ones. And it's definitely a little bit too dark for me as well. And I really don't tan either, so I can't imagine it matching me either. But I don't know. I'll find a way to use it. I'm glad that this one actually is light enough for me. I always struggle with that when picking a foundation shade too. I always think I'm slightly darker than I actually am and it's just, it's always wrong. <laughs> I think the problem too is that very often fair foundations and light ones are a little bit too pink or at least like the fair ones are over light ones. Sometimes light can have like more yellow options but I feel like more often than not when I'm looking for a foundation fair ones are very pink mainly because of like porcelain and ivory. They tend to have more pink undertones, at least the ones that I've found. I mean, obviously not everything is like that, but I always struggle with that. I'm going to kind of use my finger to blend this under my eyes a little bit as well. The only sample concealer that I have is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and that is a very thick and heavy and very full coverage concealer, and I don't feel like that that'll look right with something like this that's so light coverage so I figured I just you know use this under my eyes instead. I'm gonna go in with a cream blush real quick before I powder my face down. This one is from the Beauty Crop. This is their blush duo in Papaya Don't Preach. This is another birch box sample that I got and one side is a cream and the other side is powder and I am gonna use both. I just wanna make sure I use the cream before I powder first. <laughs> I always struggle with cream products like this that I have to really try to blend out well because I just I always worry that I'm going to use way too much and I'm going to look ridiculous but I'm going to try my best because I want to reach for this more it's definitely a very pretty color and I just you know you can't get better at it if you don't try <laughs> I don't know if you can really even see that I did a very tiny amount but I think that's going to be good enough for now I am going to powder down my face with the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder Next, I'm going to go in with bronzer. This is the Tarte Park F Princess Bronzer. Not a huge fan of this, mainly because I feel like it's so warm and a little bit too orangey for my skin. Also, has a little bit of shimmer in it. Not a ton, not as much as I remembered it having, but I'm really not a fan of bronzers that have shimmer in them. I definitely prefer matte. But I've had this for a while and I've hardly touched it, so I definitely want to use it more. Maybe if I just like have a light enough hand, it won't look as orangey as it usually does although I don't know if you can see it on camera but in person I just feel like it's a little too warm now I'm gonna go back in with that blush duo and I'm gonna use the powder side the powder side is very 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 light it's not very pigmented either and I feel like it doesn't really show up too much but it's also kind of a good blush for days where I am just wearing like a BB, BB cream mascara and then maybe a little blush just to add a tiny bit of color without adding too much. The highlighter that I'm going to be using is from Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. This is such a pretty color and I wish it worked better for me but I feel like these uh, rosier or any kind of gold tone just really might not be for me. I really like these lighter, kind of whiter powders with maybe like a little bit of pink in them. I have used pink ones, but just not quite this gold of a pink. And I haven't used this in a while, and it's a shame because it's a very pretty color. I just, I don't know. Maybe if I just go in with a light enough hand, I said that about the bronzer too, but maybe if I go in light enough, it won't look as bad as I remember looking. It might also be better like as a blush topper rather than like just a highlighter so maybe if I keep it a little bit lower too I don't know I'm just trying uh, 
feel like it's a little bit hard to blend out too. And try to blend that out a little bit more. I feel like using that brush helped a little bit. It's not perfect. I don't even know if you can see this. I think what would work better for me though with this highlighter so I can actually use it is maybe using a highlighter that I typically use first and then use this a little bit more as a blush topper, just like a real tiny bit and I think it might work better for me, although it does look a little bit better after buffing it out with this brush. For brows, I'm going to be using this Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. This is in the color 02 Brownie Brows. I never use brow mascaras, I just, I prefer pencils and I don't really feel like this does too much for me. This is supposed to have little fibers in it, which I also think is so strange, but I don't know. I know I used this once when I first got this. I had gotten it in an Ipsy bag, which it's quite a while ago now, but I mean it's not dry, so maybe because I only used it once around then and then really never opened it again, probably just stayed okay. And the one thing I really don't like about this is that it makes my brow look so much darker than the other one. I'm just not a huge fan of that. I feel like they almost just look wet. And I don't really think the fibers are doing much for me either. It's definitely not like also filling in my brows. I feel like it's just making them look a little bit darker. I think for the most part, a lot of people use brow mascaras like this after already filling in their brows and just kind of use this to like set them in place. But it's the only sample brow product that I have, so it's the only thing I can use. And I know some people use like the Benefit... Wow, I knew what it was before. What the hell was it? Whatever benefits brow mascara is, I know some people use that on its own too and really like it like that. So I think it's just personal preference, but I think I'm going to stick to pencils. Next, I'm going to line my lips with this Lipstick Queen lip liner. I don't think it has like a real name for it, but it's in the color Nude and I have used this before and I really do like it a lot. I feel like it's one of the creamiest lip pencils I've ever used. Next, I'm going to go in with this mellow matte liquid lip paint in the color Tavon. Lastly, I'm going to set my face with this Kula makeup setting spray that has green tea and aloe. Burned my eyes. Oh man, it's burning my lips. What the hell? It smells so strongly of sunscreen. It has sunscreen, but I mean, it just smells like that sprayable sunscreen. <laughs> Alright, well the, the burning settled down like after a couple seconds, but I didn't expect that. I've used this before too, and I don't remember it burning. So this is the finished look. I think it looks okay for some products that I just don't really reach for very often, and some things that I found I don't really like too much, but I think it came out alright. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every week and I will see you guys soon. Bye!